Hello, Real Writers. It's Chris here, and as you can tell, it is not raining. Hooray! I thought I would include the sun today in our journaling session, which I wanted to do when I got up rather than later in the day since I posted last week so late. Sorry about that. And as it is a Preakness weekend where I am in Maryland, the parks are going to be full of people. So not my favorite time to go to the park when it's full of people. Otherwise I would take you there, but we'll do that another time. So if you're just joining me, welcome. There are a lot of videos on here with writing prompts you might be interested in trying out. I also have another site called Tarot for Writers where I have not posted in several months. I apologize, but I started a new job and still in the process of selling my house, which I thought was going to be done last year. And um, so haven't really been in the mood, although I have a couple of new decks that I would like to try. So I hope to get on that soon, but you can still go to those videos and open any one and pick a card. It doesn't have to be about the month that it's in. You can use it to ask any question and they have a theme. So you could pick the one that has a theme that you feel is most most coincides with what you're seeking. But for these videos, I use my Tamed Wild deck, which you're not going to be able to see very well. Sorry. This is my Wild Rituals. Ooh, there we go. There's a little, there's a little gold for your Sunday. Wild Rituals Intention deck, which is reversed because my screen is reversed. It's by Tamed Wild. And um, this is an intention stack that has 30 rituals. And we've already done two of them. And I've set those aside. And normally I would be shuffling these. However, this card, every time I have shuffled these cards during the week, because I like to look at them and I'm getting to know them, a certain card has fallen out. So I thought maybe it was trying to say that it wants to be part of this week's journaling session. And the title of this card is Abundance. So I think we can all uh, get behind that. And so let me show you the drawing of the card. It is a waterfall. Green with a waterfall. Um, and I wanted, personally, it's been so rainy that I really wanted to have some green and the window open and stuff, so I apologize that it's kind of dark, but I think it's kind of nice to stare out the window and dream when you're journaling. And I wanted to include that in the video so you can do the same thing. And there's a woodpecker. So you might hear that. And hopefully my neighbors are going to be good for the next half hour. We'll see. I'm burning some moon incense in keeping with the deck, uh, which is, has a lot of moon imagery. And also it's the blue flower moon, full moon, um, yesterday. So if you're following moon cycles, certainly look up, perhaps look up some, you know, websites and articles on full moon rituals. There are tons of them. I'm not going to do that today. And um, you could even use this journaling video to follow some of the practices in that uh, article or video as well. So let me read to you about abundance. And then we'll get started because it has a fun little symbolic thing we're going to do at the end. So the purpose of this card is to be used when drowning in lack. Now, don't click off if, you're, if things are going really well for you. That's awesome. There's always some area of our lives that we feel is lacking, that is not working the way we'd like it to, or it didn't didn't meet our expectations or the thing we wanted never happened. And we're, you know, we feel we focus on those things a lot instead of what we have often. So you don't have to be drowning in lack. I think that's a little dramatic. But if you're just feeling lack in some area of your life, like scarcity in some area of your like life. So when drowning in lack, when the waters of creativity and prosperity seem to have receded, when your well of inspiration feels bone dry, soak up this card. Okay, again, a little dramatic language. <laughs> I mean, if 
we're all writers here. I'm sure we've all felt the well run dry. I certainly say that often enough to people if they ask if I'm writing and I say, well, the well's a little dry right now or I'm filling the well. And by filling the well, I mean I'm out going to plays or museums or reading books or watching movies or taking walks or, you know, doing, taking classes in art, some kind of art class to do things with my hands and not think. Um, and that's a way of filling the well for me. I'm not, you know, I'm sure everyone does this, uh, but if it sparks ideas for you, go out into the world and try other things. Um, I've even been known to go sit in churches and, or go to church, even though I'm not a churchgoer, just because there's that intensely ritualistic, symbolic aspect to church and the spaces themselves are so inspiring. Um, or go to concerts, you know, listen to classical music. Again, that's not something I normally do, but music, especially classical music, is so intensely and richly emotional. So that could bring up things for you. You could even go to yoga class or meditation class or whatever. Go forest bathing. The Japanese practice of forest bathing, which is a, a certain way of walking in the woods. Not literally a certain way of walking, but a more mindful way of walking in the woods. But all these things fill the well. Uh, sometimes you might even take a class in a completely different subject, philosophy, religion, mathematics, talk about highly symbolic, um, and mathematics is related to music. So, you know, there are different ways of filling the well of, of looking at writing and creativity and coming from different directions that can spark inspiration for you. Read poetry. Poetry is so helpful. Go to a bookstore. You don't even have to buy it. Just go to a bookstore and open random books of poetry and read a few lines here and there. And if you find something you like, take a picture of it. I mean, really, you should buy the book and support the writer in the bookstore, please. But if you're strapped for cash, maybe just take a picture of the book, of the um, the poem or the, or the stanza or the lines. But, um, you know, I would caution you about sharing that on social media. I don't want to get that. <laughs> I don't want to get that practice going out there. I want people to actually buy books. But also... Wandering at a bookstore is wonderful. Going to a coffee shop and just sitting there with your coffee or tea and your journal. You don't even have to be writing. Just pretend or take a book and pretend and just sit there and listen. Yes, I am telling you to eavesdrop on other conversations. We are writers. That's what we do. People know that. You know, you don't have to wear a big W on your chest like a scarlet W. But, you know, obviously protect the privacy of people and don't go overboard on that. But use it as... Uh, a writing exercise if you want to to listen to somebody else's conversation or just the atmosphere and catch a word or two and use those to journal and or write a scene um, whether it's something new or with characters you're working on or to start a poem or something or if it sparks a memory you could write an essay so there are a lot of ways of filling the well and journaling is a wonderful way too because it gets all the stuff that's in your way out of your head so um Again, you don't have to be drowning in lack and you don't have to feel like the well is bone dry. You could just be feeling writer's block or confusion or just even writer's fatigue. Even when we're writing every day and things are going really well, it can be draining. It can be fatiguing to be pouring that out of yourself every single day. It's exciting. It's like, you know, having a new relationship. It's You don't get any sleep. You have this person in your head all the time. It's very exciting. You're living off of um, the fumes of, you know, inspiration, but it can also be draining at times. So that's fair too. So this, um, as you saw on the card, this card is focusing on water. And so the history and lore on this card says in the modern world, clean drinkable water is readily available. This is not always, this has not always been so. People would travel great distances to find potable water, and when they did, they saw it as a gift from the gods. As time progressed and fountains and wells were built, the awe and reverence for water remained, which is where the tradition of throwing coins into a water source and making a wish or sending a prayer of gratitude originated. So you may have guessed that that's what we're going to do at some point. So the tools they've asked um, the ritual tools to gather here are a bowl, basin, or bucket, or whatever you've got handy that will serve as your personal wishing well. And I have a bowl here, which yes, I have already spilled. So we're, we left that part out of the video. It's filled again and nice and stable on a little table. 
Um, it says two weeks worth of coins, but that's a lot. I just have five. I think that's a nice manageable number. Five nice new um, pennies. An image or statue of the Celtic goddess Coventina, now or Coventina, I'm assuming it's Coventina, who is honored as the goddess who presides over sacred wells, granting the wishes of those who seek her help. I do not have a, a, an image of Coventina, but you're welcome to look one up. You can pause here, go look one up, print it out or whatever. Um, pull it up on your computer so she's there with you and do this uh, last part when we get to it. So ritual instructions. Beginning on the day of the new moon, and we're not going to do that because it's the full moon, fill your personal well of choice with water and place your representation of Coventina next to it or above it. From now until the full moon, toss a coin into your well and state your wish or, or prayer to Coventina. It may be helpful to mix up your wishes with positive affirmations such as, I am open to receiving, everything I need flows to me smoothly, or I am surrounded by abundance, or whatever it is you're seeking to manifest. Setting the intention. After this moon cycle is complete, gather your coins on the full moon, dry them, and place them in your sacred space or a personal space where you will see them every day. Then pour the water from your personal well over soil, your yard, nearby woods, somewhere in nature. As you do this, envision all heaviness associated with lack being replaced by the fluidity of abundance. Feel yourself renewed and see yourself as the open, receptive vessel now ready to receive the blessings you set into motion with this ritual. So I will put this in the description box because this is a lot to take in. But as it is the full moon, what we're going to do is we're going to do these wishes today, now, which is in the morning on Sunday, May 19. We are still in the full moon period. And I'm going to let them sit for a while. And then I will pour them out um, in the right outside my window because I am in a semi-basement apartment and I can literally just open the screen and pour it out in the ground nice and easy. So I will do that and, um, and show that to you so that you have sort of this visual of this happening in case you are somewhere where you can't make any wishes literally. Now you can pause if you'd like and go get some coins and a bowl and do that right now if you'd like you can do that but we're going to do this together virtually so if you're somewhere you can't do that we're going to do it together and then I will pour out the water on our behalf but I will put these instructions in because if you like this ritual and I really do like this ritual because frankly the ones that say you have to burn things I can't do because the smoke alarm would go off and it has uh, so I can't do that um, and the wind is not usually blowing in the direction it is now, which is taking the smoke out of the window. Normally it's blowing it back in, hence the issues with the smoke alarm. So uh, I don't burn things. Sometimes I tear them up and flush them down the toilet. You can certainly do that. Um, I could open the window and bury them in the ground outside my window. I certainly could do that. I've taken them to a park and buried them in the ground, in the earth, in the nearby park. I've done that. But I love this idea of pouring the water out into the ground. I love that. That's going to be nice and easy, and the fire department is not involved. So I will post this information in the description box if this is something you would like to do every month to um, leading up to the full moon as a full moon ritual because I think it's very manageable, and you could probably do it really anywhere. You can do it in a hotel room with a plastic cup of water and some coins from your pocket, and then go outside and dump the water in the bushes outside the hotel, right? So this is a very manageable thing to do. Or you could pour it into the ocean or a lake or whatever if you're near a body of water. So um, if you'd like to pause here, go ahead. And so what I'd like to do, I'll put my, what I'd like to do with this is to write, is for everybody to write these statements at the top of their piece of paper. And I will put them on screen if I can. Sometimes it doesn't work. And, other, and otherwise they'll be in the description box. So the first one is, I am open to receiving. I am open to receiving. Number two. 
Next one is everything I need flows to me smoothly. Everything I need flows to me smoothly. Everything I need flows to me smoothly. And the last is, I am surrounded by abundance. I am surrounded by abundance. So now let's take some time here to pick one of these statements and list five things that come to mind. For example, so if you choose, I'm open to receiving, what five things are you open to receiving? If you chose, or if you choose, everything I need flows to me smoothly, what five things are flowing to you smoothly? And if you choose, I am surrounded by abundance, what five things would surround you that symbolize abundance for you? And don't just make a list. <laughs> I mean, you can make a list if you want it first, but you know, journal a bit. Let's journal a bit on each one of these things. And I might have to stretch out because, oh my goodness, I can't sit cross-legged for very long. So pardon my, pardon the intrusion of my leg in this video. Okay, let's get started.
so that's it for me, but let's just sit here for a few moments if you need to wrap up or certainly pause the video if you need more time. So what I would suggest is that you go back through the things you wrote, the five things, and underline the sentence that sounds most like the wish so that it's easy to say as we go through the wish portion of the video. And what I'm going to do while you're doing that, or if you're still wrapping up, is I have these five pennies however you know money comes with its own baggage and who knows where I got the pennies you know how did I get the pennies where they came from who else had them before etc so if I can get this to light I hate this lighter it's so hard to light I'm going to light some sage here. And cleanse the pennies. Light the smoke. just because this can get a little too smoky and again one doesn't want to set off the smoke alarm I'm going to put it out in the water which will also cleanse the water okay so think of your first wish um, Say it out loud or say it in your mind. Here's the first penny. And say your statement. So if you said, I'm open to receiving, you would say, I'm open to receiving blank. If you said, if you wrote, everything I need flows to me smoothly, such as, I am surrounded by abundance. I am surrounded by blank. It might sound a little weird in some cases, but that doesn't matter. The universe knows what you're saying, so it's okay. So let's do our first wish. And now our second wish. And our third wish. And our fourth. And our fifth. I'll just take a moment and feel grateful. Imagine these things already coming to you. Okay. 
And now we'll pour it out. So I'll take these pennies and put them on my altar. You might want to do this yourself and take your pennies and do the same, or just imagine that whatever pennies, whatever wishes you made with these pennies virtually, um, they're doing the same work for you as they are for me. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again next week, and happy writing.